Okay, panel borders. Um, so I got some questions about panel borders. Um, how do I do panel borders without getting smudges or without smearing the lines or getting bleeding underneath the edge? Um, I think that what most of us do, we already have these edges, um, the triangle with the little inking edge, um, that's fine, but it's still, a lot of times the ink will still get underneath and it does get sucked in and it, it does bleed under. So you want to get a little extra lift on it, like add, I have one of those foam tapes on here to raise it a little bit. You want to raise it just a little bit, but not too much that, like if you're using a tack pen, these will catch so it will lift it too high and the pen won't touch your paper so you just need something like that's just a little bit has a little bit of thickness um, there's also these little felt things with the sticky side on one side you can use that I guess it's made for furniture or whatever extra cushioning but it seems to be a little too thick to me. I think you can get them in different thickness, but something like this will work. Or um, you can use, I think we use to tape pennies or coins underneath. That's what you use coins for now. So um, just a little something like that is all that you need. And for, for me, the Just like inking what you want to do is like the easiest way and what I've always done is um, not always but what I usually do Start like at the center of the page And just work in one direction. Oh, okay. There we go. My pen is going so yeah I use a tech pen for for this you can use a quill too, but um, just Move away from the line I mean, move away from the line. Yeah, <laughs> move, move in one direction away from the line that you previously uh, put down. So just go around. And I just keep moving like around on all the outside lines and just go down, boom, around the page. You can Keep going around the bottom or I, sometimes I just go to the other side and do the same thing start at the center my pen is still skipping a little low on ink I just added more ink it's still skipping okay so yeah same thing okay pretend like it didn't skip you guys just pretend so okay just move away to the outside line move to the other other panels you get the idea <laughs> And yeah, and then go do the other lines. Um, you can also do these panel borders with quill. Where's my quill? There it is. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Basically, the same thing. Here we go. Am I on the page? Okay, now I'm on. I mean, on screen. You have that lip, so you're good. So yeah, it's raised. You'll get like. Mm-hmm. Things never work when you're trying to record. Okay, so. That's that one. 
Yeah, so you can see it's still pretty wet. So just move away from those lines, give it a little time to dry. And don't forget when you're doing this, well, you'll, you'll go a little slower than this. I'm trying to go fast, but don't forget you will have a ton of ink on your edge. So remember to wipe that off, otherwise you're gonna get it everywhere. You're gonna get all over your arms, your page, your clothes smeared on your page. But there it is, panel borders. Just a simple dirty edge that I've had, I think my entire career, this same triangle. Okay guys, thanks. Um, so yeah, I do read your comments and even though I can't answer them, I can't answer all of them and I can't give you all individual attention. I'll try to address a lot of these questions. And if this panel border thing is a little too basic for most of you, be patient because there's still a lot of people who are beginners and are still learning. So I'm trying to answer as many questions as I can and as many people as I can. And next, um, I try to keep things center on the camera, but um, I will do uh, basic like brush care because I get a lot of questions regarding the brush as well. All right. Thanks.